Hello, this is Samuel from Action Figure Fury, and today I'll bring you a review of the Higher Toys AVP Alien and Warrior figure. This is one of the six figures that Higher Toys kindly sent to me, mostly from the AVP film, aside from one figure, which is the Alien from the original Alien film. Uh, this is the Alien Warrior from Alien Aliens vs Predator. As you can see, the design is quite similar to that of the... Um, actual big chap alien uh, because of the um, the dome it has on the head whereas the warriors in aliens had that more rigid head design whereas this one is a bit more um a bit more like the uh, scout alien which will the big chap alien from alien um so that it has it's quite similar to the um aliens alien warrior um anywhere with the uh sort of the body design is quite similar to that and also the more bladed like tail is very much reminiscent of the uh, alien warriors from aliens uh overall a really really good figure i do dig the designs of the aliens from avp as a bit of a mishmash of both uh from alien and aliens really happy how it turned out um the detailing on this figure is absolutely uh, fantastic. I was a bit cautious when I first got him out of the packaging because uh, the uh, um, the jaw was quite low. I'm not too sure if it would stay together, but thankfully I was able to put um, put in the mouth back in uh, all the way as it should, and also to close the mouth so I can get the more closed mouth look. Uh, overall, it really, really is an excellent looking figure, especially for this scale. To get an alien of this size, well detailed. Um, is absolutely superb i'll uh, bring him in so you have a good closer gander closer look at him really really nice i do like this sort of shininess to him it doesn't look too shiny but doesn't really really good very very impressive you can see all this the uh, sinew and the muscle and everything else it's absolutely vicious really really good i do like the head detail around the neck of the head and the neck looks really really well done I the only thing I wish would I wish the dome was a little bit more glossy, a bit more shiny. Uh, but I can't really complain about that at all. Really, really impressive. Of course, it should be noted that the uh, tail has a bendy wire in it, which is which is absolutely fantastic. So you can uh, get the uh, the warrior in many many poses. Also, you can use it to help with the uh, to support the articulation if you have those difficulties. This is the first alien I have uh, in this scale uh, by Higher Toys, and I have to say I am very, very impressed. Of course, the articulation is completely different from that of the, um, the Predators because he's a completely different species. Uh, but all the details are here. Works really, really well. Uh, through accessory-wise, the alien doesn't come with much except for this the uh, sort of grid base is very much reminiscent of um, Hadley's Hope, like I stated before, or any sort of technical or industrial place suits the alien perfectly really really nice it also comes with these brackets as well so you can put these between the figures so let's just actually just try that out i've got the um i've got the chopper predator here as well on his base so let's go and see if they, these can connect and how it looks together i'll just take remove the alien for a second stick around let's hold on let's see if this one actually works I've never tried this before, so this is completely new to me. Right, you put them in that way. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? I know there's another one. Ah, there. There's the other bracket. Right, okay. So you put those in like that. Come on, where are you? Bear me a second. Leave it upside down for a second. Take Chopper off his base. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm getting something wrong. I have a bit of difficulty if I align them together. So it should practically work, shouldn't it? Aha! 
Fantastic. That works wonderfully well. There we go. So now, if you wanted to, you could have on your display a alien xenomorph. Getting posed just right. It is, it, the um, articulation just on this one is a little bit finagly, so it's, it takes a bit of work to to get him just right in the right position you want, and to have the ultimate battle on your shelf. Just trying to get him posed there. It's just a matter of trying to find the hole at the bottom of the foot. There we go. Don't lose the battle chopper. I know you do lose it in the film. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's not on there. That's not on there. Ah, no. no. Yes, no. Hmm. Is that on or not? Oh, he's on now. That's good. So let's get him this chopper. That's chopper predator. Hmm. Not sure if I have the knees straight. Doesn't even feel that was on. Sorry about this, folks. We're just trying to get it set up. So, hmm, strange. It looks like should have got this on there now. Right, put him on there like that. That's set. Oh. Maybe the bases are designed for each different species. Maybe. Let's have a look. Come on. It's just like that. I don't want to stay in the. Get the pig hole on there just correctly. It's a bit tricky. Um, got the alien. Right, that's good. Halfway there. Halfway there. Come on. So. That's on that side, so that should just fit on there like that. Hey! When it works, it works. Absolutely marvellous, that's what you want. That's what you want. Alien Predator duking it out on display, that looks great. When you get it working, that works absolutely wonderful. Really impressed with that. That's probably how I've, once I've got um, uh, Chopper Predator all these um, back, you know, put the back decorations on. That look absolutely fantastic on display. I'm probably more inclined to get more of these um, Xenomorphs so I can have a proper display with the Predator fighting, you know, one or two of them. That'd be really, really cool. Because uh, I need to get probably each one for each brother. So that works well. I'll take him off there for now. Um, but the bases do connect very well together, which is really, really nice to see that once I've got it working. Um, other accessories that the alien comes with is these interchangeable hands. Uh, the problem I have with um, the interchangeable hands is they're quite similar to the um, the hat. You know, they're quite similar in shape. Uh, one's more open, one's more closed, and plus it's a bit hard to tell for me. I'm not an expert on the uh, alien species, so I'm not too sure which one is the thumb and which one's a little finger, which makes it a little bit difficult. But I found, I thought it was, uh, what I found was, once I put a hand on, it was easy to pop on the actual correct hand, which I <laughs> is believed to be correct. I didn't have any problem with interchanging them once you get the right hands, but it does it really, really good. I am very impressed with the alien, especially for this scale really really good of course you can have him um, standing up but that's, that's a good time now to talk about the articulation uh, with the alien 
warrior. You have, I'll get him standing up, a bit spindly. Um, with the alien, you have a ball joint in the neck. So it goes forward a little bit, not too much. Actually, just forward, not that much. Backwards, quite a bit. Um, the inner jaw, oh, the, the jaw opens up, and you, bam, you get the um, inner jaw coming out. Just like it's supposed to. Very well detailed. Um, well, the trouble I had with the jaw was trying to put the uh, mouth back in. I had trouble closing the lower jaw, getting up. It wouldn't go all the way. But once you get it, it goes like that. Looks great. That's how I prefer to have him. With the jaw closed. Looks really, really nice. Uh, for the arm articulation, the shoulders go quite up. It's only hidden by the shoulder guards, which is the design of the alien warrior. Um, it goes up like that. No bicep swivel, I'm afraid, but it has a single jointed elbow that goes in like that, and you can rotate as well. Um, the hat, the hands are on a sort of sort. Of, I don't think they're on a hinge. Um, no, they're not really on a hinge. Is it a hinge? No, the hands are not on a hinge, but they're on a really lenient ball joint, so they, you know, they work. The articulation then works really, really well. The, in the chest, you have a little bit of swivel. I can't really... I oh, can go a bit forward. You can go a bit back. You can't get too much articulation in this ab, ab ball joint here. It does not have anything at the waist, obviously, because of the design. The hips go way up. Backwards. So you can recreate that scene from... Um, uh, well, I forgot that Mel Brooks film. I forgot the name in the moment. You can you get that. You know that sort of scene. You know, you know the scene. I mean, you know, you know what film. I mean, I think it's called Spaceballs. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, goes forward, um, backwards, um, out. Not too much. And again, it's hindered by the articulation. Um, it has a double jointed elbow. So uh, jump jointed knees. Sorry. So it can get quite far. Not too far. Again, it's hindered by the sculpt. Um, it also has articulated feet, so the ankles go down, they go up. You can turn them as well, a little bit, not too much. And on the tail, has a bendy tail, so you can get, um, I'm not too sure where the bend starts, but you can get some really, really wild poses with your Xenomorph when they're duking out with the Predators. Really, really impressive. Let's try and get them back on the little base again, I'm trying to find it. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Overall, I am very, very impressed with the Alien. Um, great articulation, really good sculpt for the size it is. It's, it's really, it's a really nice collector's piece. And once you get it posed with your predators, duking out on display. But I think the best pose to get them in, to get them in, is the um, is a sort of um, half knee squat pose like that. You know, sort of pose they usually have. They're usually in. Looks really well. Looks well for me. Oh. So when he does, that's the only problem with this one because he's quite spindly. It um, has a tendency to, um, to to fall back. And again, that's the design of the Xenomorph from the first place. So no complaints about higher toys there. It's just the just the design of the beast. So, but once you get it in, once you get it up, it's on there now. So it should be standing up. Yeah, once you um. Got it working well. What do I do? Is probably lower that tail. Lower that tail. Once you get it, it works really well like that. And that's a great pose for the Xenomorph. Uh, alien more alien warrior to be in. Really, really cool. Just like he's about to pounce on his prey. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really impressed with this figure and how it turned out. A lot better than I thought it would be. So I can't I can't recommend these figures highly enough. The um, Alien Warrior it does look absolutely superb. Really, really happy with how it turned out. I do have another Alien to review, which is the big chap from the original Alien film. I will be quite to compare uh, to compare that soon. Sorry, just to readjust my camera and went a bit off earlier. But overall, very, very impressed with these figures. If you haven't got any of the um, higher toys Alien or any of the aliens from Aliens or Alien or Aliens or any other films they based uh, based the alien figure off so far, highly recommend them. They do look really, really good, especially on display with the Predators as well. They look really, really cool. I really highly recommend this figure. I have more, plenty more uh, figures to review from Higher Toys coming up, so watch out for those. I hope you enjoy this review, and bye for now.